Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing bearings with right angle trigonometry. All right, so let's take a look at some uh, bearings first of all. We have, uh, uh, well, we have north, south, east, west, and you know that first of all for these types of questions. But bearings are always given uh, in relation to north because that's where the compass points, okay? And if you go uh, east, that's a bearing of 90 degrees because it's 90 degrees clockwise from north. And then south is 180 because it's directly you know, opposite of north. And then, uh, so it's all about clockwise. And then if you go all the way to west, the bearing is 270. Okay. Uh, and then if you go beyond that, it's like 280, 290, all the way up to, you wouldn't go to 360, that would be back to zero degrees. Okay. And the bearings are always three digit numbers. Like this is a bearing of 030, 240, 325, always uh, three digits. So that's how it works. And let's do, a, let's look at a couple bearings. State this bearing. Well, this bearing clockwise from north, this is a bearing of 048. Uh, now, when you have this situation, like south is 180, so you got to do 180. Uh, plus 60 gives you a 240 or 240. And this is a bearing of, well, we do 90 here. 90 plus, this is 50, because uh, these two add up to uh, 90. So now the whole total is a, be a bearing of 140. And here we go all the way 270 and beyond, another 20. So the bearing is 290 or 290. That's how bearings basically work. And then we have some word problems like you'd see on a test situation. Uh, so here we have, uh, so we have to draw the diagrams really carefully. First of all, 1.3 hours at 110 miles per hour. Let's work out what that is. You have to do 110 times 1.3. And if you work that out on the calculator, you get 140 miles. I won't write M because it looks like meters. Usually we use MI for miles. A bearing of 40. We'll draw the diagram in a second, but uh, let's work out this one here. It's 1 1.5 hours times 110. That gives you a distance of 160, uh, 165 miles. We're going to write those into the diagram. So now let's draw the picture. Uh, so 40 degrees from north. So in general, we we draw a little uh, north arrow usually in these diagrams. 40 degrees from north is like this way. Okay, so that's 40 degree bearing. And then if we're talking about 130 bearing, that's more than 90. Okay, so that means it's going to be below west here. So let's draw it like that. I tend not to draw this dot next to this one because it looks like it's a straight line, but it's not usually usually not. Okay, so this is the bearing of 130. So the question is asking you for, I believe, this distance here. Let's call it x. Uh, but we have these distances. This is 140. Actually, this was 143. I made my mistake earlier. 143 meters or, or miles, I forgot. Let's just, let's just leave it as 143. And this one's 165. And now, so we want x in this triangle. Uh, so what we can do in these situations, we've got a picture of it down here. We have uh, we, we have parallel lines. Right? These north arrows here are parallel. So when we have like uh, angles like these, interior angles, these add up to 180, or they're supplementary. So that's a very important fact. These two angles add up to 180. Uh, that means this is 40, and that means this one here has to be 140. We're going to use these facts all the time. This is 40, that's got to be 140. And now we can get this angle right here. Okay, that angle right there, we can do uh, uh, 360, because it's 360 all around here. 360 minus 140 minus 130. Um, so that angle is actually 90. So it is a right angle triangle. 
right? And because it's a right angle triangle, we can use Sokotoa on a right angle trig. And that's what we're going to do. Or uh, actually, we don't even need Sokotoa. We have two sides in the triangle. Uh, so to get the other side, you can use Pythagorean theorem. So we have x squared equals 143 squared plus 165 squared. So x equals the square root of 143 squared plus 165 squared. And if we type that into our calculator, we'll get approximately 218 miles. 218 miles. So that's how a basic bearing word problem works. Uh, the next part, well, we pretty much already did questions like that. We'll skip the ex that example. Um, let's do another example where we have to draw our own diagram. Plane flies at a bearing of 285, 280, so it's going to be like that way, and then 80. So I'm going to start my diagram kind of down here because first it's going this way, like a little bit north of west, right? West is 270, so a little bit north of that. And, and then I generally draw a north line. Then we get a bearing of 80. And 80 goes, 80 is almost 90, so it's going to go like that somewhere, maybe. Actually, let me not draw it beyond. Actually, it is going to go beyond, so I'm going to go, it's a, it's a lot longer. It's 250, so I'll draw it like that. Okay. All right, so this is a bearing of like 80, like we just said. Degrees. Um, the question is asking you for determine the angle between the two flight paths. That's this angle right here. Now over here we have this is 280. All right, so uh, how can we figure out this here? Uh, now this diagram is getting a bit busy, but maybe I can figure out it. Anyway, let's see. Let's draw this a bit bigger. So that's 280. That means this angle right here is 360 minus 280. Uh, this angle here has to be 80. Okay. Uh, now recall that if this angle is 80. Uh, then this angle, well, that's not 80, that's, uh, it is 80. That's 80. Then these two angles, remember they add up to 180? So that angle is actually 100. Okay? That angle is 100. So recall that rule up here. These two guys add up to 180. The interior angles add up to 180. So actually theta, look at the diagram here, is simply 100 minus 80 is 20 degrees okay so this question doesn't ask you to find any distances or anything but you could if you could be asked to go on and find some distances okay let's check out one of these here now uh, a plane flies 250 and a bearing of 50 so let's draw that but here's north 50 is between 0 and 90 so I'm just going to go up here that's a bearing of 50 the distance is 250 kilometers how far north is it and how far east is it well we can figure out this is the distance north it's right here and the distance east is this distance so we could draw a right triangle and solve for x and y uh, but we need the angles in the triangle first so uh, these two angles here add up to 90, so this has to be 40. And these two are the same because they're alternate interior angles, and these are parallel lines, so that's also 50. And these should add up to 90, which they do. So now, to get north, that's x, we can do, uh, we can actually do sine, because we have the hypotenuse, so sine 40 equals x over 250. And for part 2, we can use 40 or 50 in either part. But to get the y value, I'm going to use 50. So sine 50 equals y over 250. 
Okay, to solve these, we have x equals 250 sine 40. And that is rounded to 1.61 kilometers. And this one here, y equals 250 sine 50 gives you 100, uh, sorry, yes, 192 kilometers. I think this is 161, not 1.61. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, next couple of ones are very similar. Just draw the diagram. Let's check out example five. Car travels west and then north. So I'm going to draw that here. This is the start point. West and then north. And it finishes here. Question is asking you for the bearing of the car from the starting point. The question is asking for this. Okay. Now, first of all, 45 minutes at a speed of 100. We need to do. We need to figure out how far that is. That's not a whole hour. So 45 minutes is 45 out of 60. That's 60 total minutes in an hour. So you do 45 over 60 times 100. You get 75. And we do 20 minutes. That's 20 out of 60 times 90 gives you 30. So our distances here are 30 kilometers and 75 kilometers. And now we can find theta. Uh, use tangent again because this is opposite and adjacent. Tangent is the most common one to use in word problems. So theta equals arctan uh, 30 over 75. That gives you uh, about 21.8, but the bearing is here. Um, well, actually, the bearing is not there, it's from the start to the finish. Be careful of the wording. So the bear bearing is, I'll draw a north line. This is the bearing. So the bearing, or the answer to the question, is going to be 270 plus theta, uh, which is, now if you add 21.8, you get 291.8. So to three significant figures, this one's actually 292, bearing of 292.